We are learning more about just how understaffed BC's rural and remote communities are when it comes to health care. There are thousands of vacancies and with long distances to travel for help, local leaders are increasingly speaking up. CTV's Penny Daflos has that story. Rotating emergency department closures have become commonplace in BC's rural and remote communities. We now know just how short-staffed much of the province is. In Interior Health, about 5% of all jobs went unfilled before the pandemic, but that skyrocketed to 13.7%. In Northern Health, one in five baseline jobs is unstaffed, and a report to their board of directors acknowledges they can hardly keep up with replacements for departing staff. Around the world, there's been a mass exodus of workers from the healthcare field that started during the pandemic and is continuing in the wake of burnout. But rural and remote communities are seeing the biggest impacts. But these mountains were too two to three hours on a good day and in the winter months is it's it's tragic actually our health care is is slipping very quickly and so small town mayors have formed a bc rural health care alliance to advocate with the province we're in front of government and, and that's where certainly i plan to stay you know until the 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 hospital is back to Normal. Last month, the Premier appointed a new parliamentary secretary for rural health, tasking Jennifer Rice with connecting with smaller communities and their needs. There are people who are living on the Vancouver Island and flying up north to work for a week or two at a time. Physicians are already crisscrossing the province to provide care on a temporary basis, and doctors of BC hope medical professionals who burned out and walked away from their careers may find renewed purpose with opportunities virtually anywhere they'd like to visit. Please come to rural family practice or rural specialty care for the weekend, for a month, or for a lifetime. They'd be happy to have you. Especially since remote work options have seen so many British Columbians move to smaller towns where they need the same kind of care as everyone else. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.